Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here as we bless our food baskets virtually. So you're probably in your living room or perhaps in your kitchen or dining room, and hopefully you have your food with you. So if you just spend a moment or two just to center yourself before we move into the actual blessing and service itself. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. For our sake, Christ became obedient, accepting death, death on a cross. Therefore, God raised him high and gave him the name above all other names. With this, we say, blessed be God forever. May God be in our hearts, may God be in our lips, may God be in our food. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading with our blessing comes from the book of Isaiah. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make the well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Like justice descended, O heavens, like dew from above. Let gentle rain upon the skies drop down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord, beside whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe. All you ends of the earth, for I am the God, and there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Our psalm response. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. Those times I recall, now that I pour out my soul within me. When I went with the th throng and led them to the procession to the house of God. Amid loud cries of joy and thanksgiving with the multitude keeping festival. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity, they shall lead me on. And bring me your holy mountain to your dwelling place. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. Then will I go to the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. Now would we'll be blessing various items that you might have either in your basket or maybe you have all those items separated outside of your basket on your table, in your dining room, your kitchen, your kitchen table. As we offer each one of these blessings for various food items that you'll have and on your table and hopefully you'll enjoy uh, this Easter. As I offer each blessing, I ask you to place your hand over the particular item that we are praying for. The first item we'll pray pray for is the blessing of the Paschal Lamb. Father, giver of all good things, if have commanded our ancestors in faith to partake of the Lamb of the Pas Passover night. Bless this Lamb, prepared for our celebration, in honor of your Son's Passover from death to life, for he is truly the Paschal Lamb by whose blood we are saved. As we enjoy the food which you sanctify our nourishment, May we also obtain your blessing through the cross and the resurrection of your Son. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we'll have the blessing of all other meats. So if you focus your blessing and your hand over the items that you have that are meats other than lamb. 
O God, through Moses, you commanded your people in their deliverance from Egypt to kill a lamb and mark their doorpost with his blood. We understand this was to prefigure our deliverance by Jesus shedding of his blood. Bless and sanctify this meat which we desire to eat and praise of him, our Paschal Lamb. We at this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we'll have the blessing of bread, the various bread items that you might have on your table and those that you will hopefully enjoy this Easter. If you'd raise your hand and Focus your hand over the items of bread. Almighty and everlasting God, bless the bread. May it be a healthful fruit for body and soul, a safeguard against every disease and a defense against all harm. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we'll have the blessing of dairy foods. If you just focus your attention and place your hand as we offer the blessing over various items of dairy foods. O oh God, creator and author of all being, bless these cheeses and butter and all other dairy foods. Keep us in your love so that we partake of them. We may be filled with your bountiful gifts on account of our Lord's glorious resurrection from the dead. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we'll have the blessing of eggs. Hope you center your eyes and your hand over the various eggs that you have on your table. Father in heaven, let your blessing come upon these eggs. When we break them, we see a sign of our sun rising to new light from the tomb. May we eat them in joyful celebration of Christ's resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we'll have the blessing of herbs. So if you focus your eyes and place your hand over your herb items on your table. Lord God, master of all being, may it be fitting for you to bless the horseradish and other herbs we have set before you on our table. May they remind us of the bitter sufferings of your son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who through this suffering that he had to endure, he was able to break the bonds that held them into, into difficulty and set those bonds separated from him so they could experience a resurrection free from the bitter taste of these herbs. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll have the blessing of cakes and pastries. So if you focus your eye and place your hand over the items that are cake and pastries on your table. Lord Jesus Christ, living bread of everlasting life, bless these cakes and pastries as you once blessed the five loaves in a wilderness. As we eat them, may we receive the health we deserve for body and soul. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll have the blessing of wine. If you focus your eye and place your hand over the items of wine that you have in your table. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God in Cana of Galilee, you change water into wine. Be pleased to bless this wine which you have given us as a refreshment. Grant that whenever it is taken as drink, it may be accompanied by an outpouring of your life-giving grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now have a general blessing of your entire array of food items that you'll be enjoying on Easter. The items we have blessed already in any items that we failed to mention up to this point. This time, if you blaze both hands over your table, over all the items that you will enjoy on Easter, the items that you like to have blessed as you enjoy your Easter food. Loving Father, long ago you told your people to bring the good things for eating and celebrating to your altar in Thanksgiving. They obeyed and brought you their baskets of food and grain. Today we come here with our Easter food. Grant that we may appreciate all that you have given to us. Bless all the Easter foods, all the candies, all the goodies, all the pastries, all the meats that we will enjoy on Resurrection Sunday. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, we'll be praying the Our Father. As I pray the Our Father, I'll be using incense, and may that incense filter eventually into your home 
rise off of your table as it saturates an aroma, your food. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For our prayers of the faithful, if you'd respond after each petition, Lord, prepare us for the feast of life. Hopefully you're with family and you're joining together around your table and again repeating after each petition, Lord, prepare us for the feast of life. That the Son of God who invites us to the Paschal Feast stands ready to help. Let us call upon him on our need. Lord, prepare us for the feast of life. Let Easter may find us cleansed of sin and ready to live anew in our Christian faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, prepare us for the feast of life. That the bread we share may be a reminder of the bread we live and that we taste at the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, prepare us for the bread of life that we may be ready to give from our table to those who hunger, those who thirst, and those who could benefit from the morsels we have on our table to give to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, prepare us for the feast of life, that we may one day enjoy the banquet of the Lord in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, prepare us for the feast of life. And if you bow your head and I give, give you a blessing, Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us together at our tables. We thank you for the food that you have given to us as we have had our food items blessed. We thank you for your bounty, for your goodness, for all that you have given to our families and to our community, to our state, to our country. May we always show appreciation for what you have given to us by the way we respond to you and respond to our neighbors and to each other. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may all, Almighty God allow all of you to have a beautiful Easter, a day of real resurrection, and the, may the fill of the resurrection of Christ touch your life and the life of your family, not only on Easter Sunday, this day, but all the days of your life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.